I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on work done related problems. We'll discuss a strategy to solve all such examples, starting with a very basic question, which is five men can do a piece of work in six days. Ten women can do it in five days. Find the number of days in which three men and five women can do it. So in all these questions, what is not defined is the work done. I said that is the amount of work done. Now, in our questions, we will think this as the distance travel. Let's say the work done is to do something from here to there, right? So the idea is we know distance, speed and time. So rate at which it is traveled and the time it takes. So as you all know, this is a relation where we could always find the distance as multiplication of rate and time, right? So, so when you do this multiplication, you get the distance, right? Now, in case of uh, work done, what we will consider is kind of this triangle in which distance will be in some units, which we don't know. So we'll just say this distance in some units. We'll call them units of work. So that is units of work. And the rate of work will be units, let's say this is in days, time is in days in our case. Then this would be units of work done in a day. That is the rate, right? Rate is per day. So this is units per day, correct? So that basically means we could always write work as equal to units per day times days so with this we can actually define work so that is the concept which we are going to use to solve all such questions right now let's look into the question it says five men can do a piece of work in six days so let this units per day for men be m right so we say 5m so m is this units per day right for men six days when we multiply that by days when you say this times six days okay that is the total unit of work right so let's call it total units now this total units is same for 10 women who are doing this job in five days. So this much work is also done by 10 women. Let their rate be W. W units per day for women and times five days, right? So five days, right? Let's call this small d, five days. So we get an equation. Same work is being done by men and women. Five men can do it in six days, ten women can do it in five days. So we get our relation, which is five men times six days is equal to ten women in five days. Is that clear to you? Now this could be simplified. We could always cancel a few things, simplify this. So when you simplify, what do you get? Dividing by 2, you get 3 days, 3 men days, D and D can. So you get 3M is equal to 5W. Correct? So days you could cancel. And say the rate for 3 men is same as that of 5 women. So the amount of work which 3 men can do is same as what 5 women can do. That is what this question is saying. So we can actually write it as a ratio. So I prefer to write like this, men over women. So if I do that, I get 5 over 3, right? So this basically implies that the rate for men is 5 units per day. So for men, it is 5 units per day. And for women, as a woman is three units per day is that clear to you 
So that becomes their rate. So from here, we found the rate. Now, once we had the rate, that is the value of M and W, and we know this days, we can find the units of work, right? Does it make sense to you? So from here, we can say total work units is how much? So we could take either one of these. So it says 10 women, 5 days. So for women, 10 women means 3 units per day for each woman, right? So this value of W will substitute as 3. So we get 10 times 3, that is for W, times 5, right? So the total work is now 5 times 3, 15, 150 units. So in this calculation, we could find what was the total units of work which was required to be done. Perfect. Now let's get back to the question. What do we need? Find the number of days in which three men and five women can do it. So now we want the number of days for, we know the total work. Now we can write with total rate. Total work is 150 and there are three men. Each man can do five units per day. So we'll multiply three by five, right? So we get three times five plus we want five women. So five women will mean five times three, right? Five times three. So what we get here is 150 over 15 plus 15, which is 30. And then we get 5 days. Correct? So this could be easily simplified. And when you cancel this, you get 5. Right? So we get 5 days is what they will take. Right? So we get 5 days as our answer. Is that clear to you? So getting back to our question. The idea here always is to define the total work some way or the other. Right? Now, work will be product of rate at which each individual is doing times the time each in they are taking. Right? So, five men, we found that their rate is five units per day and total they work for six days. So, we could have found five times five times six as the total work done, which will come to 150. Same as we worked with the women. Once we know the number of units of work, we could divide by the rates and solve all such questions. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to treat such questions where n number of persons are working in different combinations. Hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.